We've got a Wagyu ribeye right here. And a six pack of these new beer infused spice blends. This is gonna be a quick grilling video. I've got this cherry chipotle beer infused. You guys ready for this one? That's so cool. You can smell the cherry in this. This is gonna caramelize very nicely on this meat. Mm. Okay, so look, this one's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, trim it up, and we're gonna put it on these little skewers right here. We're gonna make some beef satays. So I'm gonna start by trimming up the meat. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just trimmed them into little cubes like this. They're gonna go on the skewers, but I took off the fat part as well. Take off this fatty end, we're gonna render this and we're gonna use the fat to coat it. So we're basically gonna cook it with its own fat. I just render this in the pan on medium heat so all this fat renders out and you're left with a nice liquid. You can do this in the oven as well. It'll create less of a mess. Okay, we're gonna marinate this stuff. So get yourself a bowl, ribeye in. Then we got the beef fat, toss that in as well. Cherry chipotle rub, good amount of that. Okay, now we're just gonna set this aside, let it marinate for about 30 minutes at room temp. Okay, so now get yourself another little bowl. So I'm making another marinade to brush onto the meat once it's caramelized and done its thing. So, coffee stout, I think this will be a very complimentary flavor. About a quarter cup of that in the bowl. Then we'll just add about a quarter cup of oil, canola oil. And then rice wine vinegar to taste. And there we have a nice little glaze to brush on once it comes off the grill. Okay, now all there's left to do is skewer them up just like this. I like to keep my skewers in water so when you grill them off, they don't burn. So just skewer them up as many as you want per stick and then now all there's left to do is grill them off. Okay, so here's the breakdown on this real quick. I went ahead and loaded up my hibachi. It's just a little grill that I got at some Asian store back then. Lodge makes them, I'll put a link down below. Go ahead and sear them off to the temperature of your liking. I like mine to be mid-rare, so I just get a hard sear. Once you turn it, go ahead and brush it with that really nice coffee glaze, then turn it over, brush it again, and there you have it, throw it on a sheet tray. There you go, you've got meat on a stick. Beautiful, delicious. Very happy with the way these turned out. And of course, once again, these rubs, they just paired so nicely with this Wagyu beef. Just look at that glaze on there. So that's all there is to it. If you don't eat meat, go ahead and try chicken or fish or veggies, whatever you want. Put it on a stick, grill it up, and be happy. Thank you so much for watching the video.